car, the new 750S, we set ourselves a difficult challenge. Simply, it raises a supercar benchmark that we previously set so high with the 720S. McLaren 750S really does set a new benchmark. It has more power and more driver engagement. It's a car that's even more pure in the way it feels and the excitement it delivers. Probably the biggest change is the improvements we've made to our proactive chassis control system. We set ourselves an extremely difficult challenge to enhance the agility, the feel and the feedback, while also making sure that the comfort and usability aren't compromised. In other words, the best of both worlds that our customers want. To do this, we've developed a new spring and damper design that not only improves performance, it also brings a weight saving of two kilos, which is part of an overall 30 kilo weight reduction across the car. We've also improved our class-leading hydraulic steering with a new power steering pump, a faster ratio, and we've improved the suspension geometry, including widening the car's front track by six millimeters. The result is a car that's more agile, the turning is sharper, but the focus has really been on stability that allows the driver to feel more confidently connected to the car and really enjoy it on the limit. Alongside the chassis improvements, we've also increased the output and the feel of the twin turbo V8. The V8 now runs with a higher boost pressure and with a new twin fuel pump to produce 750 PS and 800 Newton meters of torque. 0 to 100 kilometers per hour is now just 2.8 seconds and a shorter final drive ratio improves the in-gear acceleration. There's also a new lightweight exhaust which really amplifies the sound. The exhaust works in harmony with the aerodynamic changes. The new rear wing is 60 millimetres higher to accommodate the central exhaust and it draws more hot air out of the engine bay. There's also a new mesh to open up the rear end of the vehicle and help with engine cooling. Downforce is increased by 5% but it's actually the aerodynamic balance we've focused on. And that's why there's a new front splitter to balance the car front to rear giving the driver that feeling of stability and confidence. Inside the car we've also made some significant changes to improve the experience. The biggest change is the new generation instrument binnacle with the repositioned power and handling buttons that no longer require the driver to remove their hands from the steering wheel. There's also a new infotainment screen in the middle of the dashboard, a new HMI system and Apple CarPlay is now standard. We've also added a new custom setup button which allows the driver to immediately turn on and off their preferred settings for ride, handling and aero. It's no exaggeration to say every aspect of the new 750S has been improved and evolved. And along the way we've had one thing in mind. We wanted to create the purest supercar for the driver. At McLaren, every innovation is a step forward. Every benchmark can be beaten. All it takes is passion, a belief in technology, the bravery to put it to the test.
We never stop searching for the next breakthrough. Every game is a win. Progress means more power. More purity. More elation. Then, a new benchmark emerges. The new McLaren 750S. McLaren was born a racing team. Our company's founder, Bruce McLaren, won his first Formula One race aged just 22, the youngest ever winner at the time. But being a racing driver wasn't enough for Bruce. He had the mind of an engineer, inquisitive, analytical, driven, and he was ambitious to build his own cars and his own team. He formed McLaren 60 years ago in 1963. I think in both F1 and automotive, it's, it's more the phrase of the kind of good is never good enough. We design a car, we set down a, a benchmark, a lap time, a, a speed, a, a handling feel, but actually, are we ever truly satisfied with that? Can we go that little bit further? Can we improve it? When developing components, we're looking for every hundredth of a second. We look for individual grams in every component because every little incremental change we can make adds up to the bigger picture. Achieving precision, examining every detail and exploring the limits can result in significant outcomes. And that's true not only in motorsports, but also in our supercars. And that's why we achieve the best we can. We set a new benchmark and then we commit ourselves to beating it, to go further. And now I'd like to introduce our latest supercar, the new McLaren 750S. 